Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Guru Olympics 2021. This is the avenue for us, future teachers, to showcase our talents and morning, skills everyone. brought up by the Fair Teachers League. So for this year's Guru Olympics, we made sure that everyone will enjoy the events and activities that we specially planned and prepared. And for this year, we have different activities and contests that we specially plan for all of you. And hence, to commence this program in the midst of everyone, let us all feel the almighty presence of the Lord through a prayer to be led by Ms. Bea V. Irene Custodio, the Assistant Secretary of the Faith Teachers League. Praise and thank you, dear God, for the blessings you have showered upon us. Empower us that we may have the intelligence to be competent and perform in the best way we can. We will, for total commitment, execute justice, freedom, peace, and unity among people, and the environment, and the heart to be compassionate and sensitive to the needs of others, especially the poor. This we ask in the name of Mary, our Mother, and Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Mater Fidelium, Mater Fidelis, Ora for Nobis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So everyone, at this point in time, allow me to introduce myself. I am Karen Arliza Mendoza from the Bachelor of Secondary Education, the major in English, second year. And I am honored to welcome all of you for today's event. So for everybody's information, Go Olympics is especially prepared by the, F the Faith Teachers League. And syempre, guys, I want to, naman to ease everyone. So ngayon, gusto ko yung tanongin. Everyone, kamusta ang prelims nyo? Kamusta kayo? Masigla ba kayo? Masaya ba kayo? Um, comment down below kung ano yung nararamdaman nyo ngayon. Yan, so may, nakita, may nakikita ako ngayon na may mga nag, uh, ano na, may nag-good luck na from different courses and programs. From Bachelor of ano, Secondary Education, um, from English, Mathematics, BPE, and Math. So, super, feeling ko super excited na talaga ang lahat for today's event. Um, despite na meron tayong pandemic ngayon, we really made sure to to hype everyone for this event. So, sure ako na mag enjoy kayo for today's event, which is the elimination round for our Let Quiz B. So, excited na rin ako and super hype na rin ako. Kaya, hindi na natin to patatagalin pa. Alam ko naman na uh, Ilang araw natin tong pinaghandaan, ilang araw natin tong pinag-isipan, ilang araw natin tong pinrain na sana maging success and sana yung mananalo for today is maging um, super um, deserving and super good luck sa kung sino man ang mga contestants natin for today. And so, Guru Olympics kasi is the event that we all truly deserve. As future teachers who choose to keep the fire and passion burning despite the hurdles brought, about, brought upon by the COVID-19 pandemic, naniniwala ako na this event will provide us the opportunity to have fun while showcasing our talents and skills. So, this non-academic related activity, I believe, will give us the chance to breathe positivity and breathe out the academic pressure that we've been feeling ourselves for the past months. And so, I am truly hoping that we've prepared, that everything that, we'll, that we have prepared will help us in telling people, I got this. Kinaya ko at kinakaya ko at kakayanin ko pa habang sinishare ng ng mga contestants or habang sinashare natin yung kung ano yung nating ibigay at yung kaya nating ipakita sa mga tao. And of course, I would also want to use this chance to once again commend the Faith College of Education and the Faith Teachers League for organizing this. 
especially our faculty and our officers who truly provided effort, time, and the skills that we need to lay down this program. Because I know for a fact that we assured that we prepared and did our best for this major, major, major event. And, and so to give us more about the Good Olympics 2021, let us all please welcome the ever supportive, responsible, and surely the well-rounded president of the Faith Teachers League, Mr. Roy Vincent Montenegro. Hello, hello po. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi, Kuya Roy. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, good morning sa lahat, sa lahat ng nanonood sa YouTube Live. So, share nyo pa yung link para mas marami tayo na nanonood yes. sa YouTube. Okay, so, uh, quick background lang, no? especially sa mga first year natin, no? regarding sa kung ano bang nangyayari ngayon. No? So, actually, yung Let Quiz Be and Demo Teaching Competition ay yearly tradition na ng College of Education. Yeah. Uh, wala pa kami sa wala pa kami sa faith na meron ng demo teaching competition then i believe nung first year kami nag-start yung let quiz be and realize namin na officer na gusto namin dagdagan yung contest kasi para ma-showcase pa yung skills mm. ng iba pa nating students di ba yung mga magagaling magsulat yung mga magagaling magara di ba so gusto namin din ma-showcase yung mga talent na yun and then guru olympics came to mind no so uh plan na siya ng faith teachers the last school year pa nung face to face pa Plano na talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Pero yun nga, hanggang plano lang. And, uh, <laughs> oo, oh, talaga plano lang siya. Nas, 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 Pero plano. Lang, oo, oh, oh, plano lang. Then, um, yun nga, since hindi namin siya na-push through kasi nga, medyo naging busy. Tapos yun nga, di ba, COVID happened. Yung mga unforeseen circumstances. Mm-hmm. Hindi na natin siya na-push through. And now na, may opportunity na, we push through na, pinush na namin itong Guru Olympics. And ito na nga yung nangyayari na ngayon, live na live. Yes! Guru Olympics 2021, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yan. So, share nyo yung link natin para masaya tayo. Okay? So, Then guys, oo, oh, um, share the link para maraming makapanood. Yes. Okay, para marami so, nila na masaya dito sa faith ko, Ed. True, oo, oh, di ba? Marami tayong mga pahanas. Ayan. So, uh, mm-hmm. the main purpose of carrying out this event is actually to acknowledge the potential, knowledge, and skills of the students of College of Education and syempre, para ni- i-promote yung Faith College's competitive-friendly environment yeah. para sa mga co-ed students gamit tong, uh, through these online competitions. No? Okay. As we all know nga, itong Faith College of Education, dinivide mo natin siya into four main groups. No? Mm. Yan, meron tayong English, mm-hmm. Math, BPE, BPE. and EEL. Ayan, so, yes. so sa ating puro cheer. Sino kaya mag-overall yeah. champion, di ba? Super As hype ever, na ko, yeah. Overall champion na. Totoo, hype na. Excited na rin ako na kakabahan din. <laughs> so, sino kaya first ever mag-online champion ng Guru Olympics 2021? So, first ever to kasi nga, ayan, unang-unang Guru Olympics, sino kaya mag-champion? So, para yes. ba natin malalaman yung overall champion sa apat? So, meron tayong mga contests. Okay, so... Next, Miss Lane. So, ang mga contests natin for this Guru Olympics 2021 ay... Okay, so, okay, so first, may let quiz be tayo na mangyayari na mamaya. Okay, so mamaya may elimination round. Abangan nyo, may God. Exciting, di ba? Mamaya, ang ating elimination, sundan nyo. Very short lang itong opening program, then proceed na agad tayo with let quiz be. You also have uh, the online demo teaching. Yan, since uh, i-upload din natin yung mga entries for online demo teaching. Then next, we have... Also, debate. Okay, okay. yan. Yeah. <laughs> exciting yung mga topic. Exciting lahat. So, abangan nyo rin yan. So, these three yung ating mga major um, events. Okay, for our minor yeah. events, meron naman tayo Teach Talk Competition. Yan, i-upload din natin yan yung mga entries ng ating mga participants. We also have Short Story oh, Writing. Yeah. Very exciting. Di ba? Exciting yeah. yung uh, yeah. topic na tulad tayo ng briefing kanilang umaga for Short Story Writing. Napaka- exciting nung kanilang pagsusulat kung anong gagawin nila. Oo, oh, okay. okay. dito malalaman kung gano'ng ka-creative at kung gaano oh, ka-talented sa pagsusulat. <laughs> dito sa short story, oh. like, tama, totoo yan. So next, we have the mobile photography. Yan yung mga photographers natin sa COET. Marami tayong talented talaga ng photog- na magaling sa mobile photography. So, ipopost din natin yung mga entries. And our last uh, minor event, we also have the Pop Culture Quiz B. Ayan, so yung mga mahilig sa music, sa movie, entertainment, showbiz. Ayan, di ba? So, meron din tayo. So, I believe ilalive din ang natin siya pag kinaya. So, abangan nyo din yan. Okay. So, sa mga contest na yan, so mag- meron tayong pointing system to determine sino yung magiging overall champion natin. So, ito yung pointing system natin for champion, second place, third place, and sa participant. Okay? So, for yung mga group, especially yung debate, so, by group, by ano siya, by program, and then yung other one, individual 
events naman sila. So, ira-ranking system siya para per program din is may points. And for online demo teaching, meron sa time five special awards. So, meron din additional five points sa mga programs na makakakuha ng ating special awards. So, exciting. Sino kayong first ever? Right? na excited ako talaga, Sob. <laughs> Kasi first Sorry, ever natin. Sa mga ano, additional natin awards. Like, may d- best debater ba ako, ya? Yeah? Yes. Actually, that's the debate. Meron tayong best debater, di ba? Sino kaya ang pinakamagaling oh, oh. na dito? May paglaban. Mas paglaban talaga. Dito malalaman <laughs> so gano'ng kagigil ang bawat program oh, dito sa OM. Dito sa, ano, sa live yung ano, panggigil lang ano, talagang batuhan ng mga ano, facts and ano. Mm-hmm. Yan. So, apangan nyo yan sa, I believe, bukas ata yung debate. So, wait for further announcements na lang. Okay, so, in lang naman yung buong kwento ng Guru Olympics and yung gagawin natin for this whole Guru Olympics. So, Good luck everyone. Good luck sa lahat. Good luck, good luck sa lahat ng participants. So yun lang. Good luck guys. Good luck guys. And thank you Kuya Roy for briefing us about the Guru Olympics 2021 na super inabangan at super pinrepair ng Faith Teachers League. So, and so, um, now to give her encouraging and kind words, and let us all welcome with a big hand our very own Chair of College of Education, Dr. Jerilyn Magbuo. Good morning, Doc J. Good morning. Good morning, FDL. Hold on. It's, this is so new to me. <laughs> uh, hmm. Share screen. Okay. I think this is how it's done. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes? Okay. Yes, Bob. All right, that's good. Um, so good morning, everyone. I have a quick question for you. And uh, I would like to hear your answers. Just open your microphone for those who are with us in uh, this uh, room. And you can comment on the comment section if you are not part of the room. Uh, if you are watching us on YT or watching us via Facebook, uh, just go ahead and leave your comments there. What happened, Price? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, question. What is the fastest what is the fastest thing in the universe? Miss para po mamaya ka po yung quiz B. <laughs> Wala, oh, sige. Para sa non uh uh science major. What is the sorry, fastest thing in the universe? Hindi ko po siya kung tama, Miss. Late po ba? <laughs> So Let's see the comment po. Let's see. Uh, I mean, nag comment ang nag comment po si Miss Jeline dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. Okay. Let's see. She, she's laughing beside me. So let's Miss Jai Peralta. Sabi niya po live. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Miss Jeline is with me, by the way, and she's laughing beside me. Ayan. Good morning. Anyway, so, uh, light daw, sabi ni Gumba. So, anyway, so what is the fastest thing in the universe? Uh, most of you answered light. And that answer is wrong. <laughs> so it's actually wrong. Light is not the fastest thing in the universe. Um, so any other guess? Anyone who can guess it? So, wala. I guess wala na bang ibang mga guess, right? Or light? In- don't mind, Ma'am Jeline, it's not dinosaur, certainly. So, uh, the answer to that is darkness. So, darkness oh. travels faster uh, than light. So, if that's your answer, that is correct. Now, um, the moment that light leaves, the darkness returns instantaneously. So, in that, in that essence, they are the, the same speed, right? Um, but however there are instances where darkness actually moves faster than the light like for example the shadows so if this is uh, if my camera is the source of light and i and this is my hand then this is the shadows if i move closer to the source of light like this you see the shadows are becoming bigger right the more that the object moves closer to the source of light the shadows become bigger right so that means that the shadows travel faster because it occupies more space, right? So what is my point? So certainly darkness in, in some instances travels faster than light. 
And the pandemic is actually our shadows, right? Yes. It's, it's uh, overpowered the whole world, right? And it casts this darkness um, in our hearts and in our minds, and we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what will happen next. The future, which we usually see, like two, three months, we can plan ahead what we're going to do, what, uh, what, um, how we're going to proceed with our daily lives. All of that was actually cast into the darkness because we don't know exactly how we're going to proceed, how we're going to submit reports, how we're going to submit our presentations. It cast shadows. So that's actually where the FTL comes in. This is where uh, this is where we see our role. You no, know? the faith teachers lead despite the darkness. Despite darkness, um, FTL continues to shine light for everyone, despite the distance and despite despite the space. Even if our first year students haven't met each other. Right? Even if our first year stu students never, never laugh together, never uh, shared a meal together, never sit together and say, Pahiram nga ng ballpen mo, Uy, grabe ka report natin, di ka tumulong. Still, they are able to feel that bond. And one of the biggest factors why they feel that bond is because of the FPL. FPL made that happen with this little talk, little activities, with small gatherings, small chit chats we're able to defy that darkness and not let that darkness sit our light away. And this Guru Olympics is an attestment to that. This Guru Olympics, which we were able, which Roy and his team were able to create despite uh, the disadvantages, despite the impossibility of uh, creating a quiz B online. This is an attestment to that to that aim, to shine light for everyone. And so I want you to shine your light, keep it ablaze, not just for yourself, but for your program and for every soul out there who's feeling a little cold and lonely. Because these activities are not just a matter of win or lose or who's a better program. This is, this is actually an activity that makes you feel like a family, like you belong, right? Because this is the goal of Faith Teachers League, to make you feel that you belong in this program, in this family, in this department. Hence, welcome to Guru Olympics 2021. And I am very proud of FTL. I am very proud of all of you. And congratulations to the winners in advance, and congratulations to all the participants. Thank you, Faith Teachers League, for making it happen. Thank you so much, Ms. J, for those welcome and kind words again from you. You truly amazes us by your words. Like, there's no other one could bring that um, encouraging words other than you. Um, so, as always, very meaningful words of wisdom from you, Dr. J. So, thank you so much. Thank you for those warm words. Thank you for those good luck and congratulations. And I will leave to our participants and audience to contemplate about that short but sweet pieces of advice you've given to us. So at this point, we will have a short break before we proceed to the event proper so that our participants and facilitators can prepare. So allow me to congratulate in advance the winners of today's event and all the events that will come for the next coming days. And allow me to wish all of you a very 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 sincere good luck and may god bless you in your endeavors see you around
Good morning, everyone. Okay, welcome to our Let's Speak Week 2021. Today is our first Olympics, the Battle Among Soy Poets Program. So, this is that we are going to have this in the past, and I will have this in the past. So, this is what we are going to do. And we are going to have this in the past. And we are going to have this in the past. And we are going to have this in the past. Okay, ready na po. Yan, nagtatype na sila. Okay, so it seems that all of us, okay, lahat ng ating mga participants ay ready na. The only um, left is to flash natin yung ating platform. So, ayan. So, before we proceed, let's have a check first. Let's check first kung we are on the same page. So, um, please raise your letter A para po makita natin kung hindi po magbabagal yung ating mga internet. Okay, ayan po. Kasi po natin. Okay naman. Okay. Ayan. Okay, pwede nyo na po siyang ibaba. Mag-start na po tayo. So, meron po tayong three rounds. Again, three rounds po. Easy, average, and difficult. At nagkakaiba po yung scoring natin dito well as in time. So, every round po, meron po tayong um, break. So, ayan. Pwede kayong huminga sa bilas. So, start na po tayo. Let's have easy round. One point each. So, 10 questions. You have 5 seconds to answer. And, inuulit din po natin once na sinabi po ni Coach na itaas mo po yung answer sa kanyo po isapan. Okay, at huwag naman po ibababa hanggat hindi pa kayo nasatawa. Yan. Okay. For question number one, let's go. Let's go tayo. Okay. The question is from professional education. Which reform in the Philippines educational system advocates the use of English and Filipino as medium of instruction in specific learning areas? Is it letter A, alternative learning, B, bilingual education, C, K-12 program, or letter D, multilingual education? Timer, start now. Okay, time's up. Please raise your answers. Please raise your answers po. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, bilingual education. Okay, let's see who got the correct answer. B and Abby, correct. B and Christelle, wrong. B and Jazz, wrong. B and Georgie, correct. B and Rona, correct. B, B, P, E, Christina, wrong. B, P, E, Julia, correct. B, P, E, May, Paul, nawawala. Makikin show po. BPE may wrong. BPE may, BPE Shara, wrong. BPE Sophia, wrong. English and Jeteline, wrong. English Damase, Correct. English Laila, wrong. English Manuel, wrong. English Marjorie, wrong. 
Matt, are, Matt Almira correct? Matt Kenneth correct? Love, Matt Lovely correct? Matt Maribel correct? Matt Mylene correct? Okay, thank you, scholars. So that is, that is our first question. Question. Now let's proceed to our second question. Time's up. Please raise your answers po. Again, kung po natin ibababa muna. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Okay, letter D po. Testifies for the. Okay, let's see who got it right. From B Ed, we have Abby, Abby, B Ed, Abby, correct. B Ed, Christelle, wrong. B Ed, Jan, wrong. B Ed, Georgie, correct. B Ed, Rona, wrong. Okay, for the BPE po, BPE Christina, wrong. BPE Julian, wrong. BPE May, correct. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, wrong. For the BSE po, sorry, Teacher Angeline, will you please raise your answer po? English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, correct. English Laila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie wrong. For the BSC math, math Almira wrong, math Kenneth wrong, math Lovely correct, math Maribel wrong, math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our third question. Hello, what's the question? I'm going to ask you to ask Okay, for our third question, this is from General Education. Question is, what is the COVID-19 incubation period? Is it A, from 5 to 20 days, B, from 1 to 5 days, C, from 10 to 30 days, or D, from 1 to 14 days? Timer starts now. Okay, time's up. Please raise your answers. Yes. Okay. Pero alam na alam niyo to. Hindi tang kita ko yung mga ngiti sa inyo mga mukha. Okay. Ayan. Please wag niyo po na mo na ibababa hanggat hindi po natatawag ang inyong pangalan. Okay. The correct answer is letter B from one to fourteen days. Okay. Let's see who got the correct answer from B and. B. Ed. Abby, correct. B. Ed. Christelle, correct. B. Ed. Jazz, correct. B. Ed. Georgie, correct. And B. B. Ed. Rona, correct. Okay, for the BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, correct. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, correct. And for the BSc English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, correct. For the math, BSc math, 
Math Al Almira correct. Math Kenneth correct. Math Lovely correct. Math Maribel wrong. Math Mylene correct. Again, thank you again, scholars. Let's go to our fourth question. Then a fourth question na tayo. Okay, this is from professional education. So in a classroom situation where students are discussing whether government efforts to establish peace in Mindanao will be beneficial to the whole country or not, which is the most appropriate strategy a debate b visualization exercise c consensus taking or letter d conflict resolution timer start now okay time's up po. please raise your answers Okay, raise your answer, guys. Okay, naka-close po yung um, camera ni Mylene. Okay, the correct answer is Letter A po. Okay, letter A. Let's see who got the correct answer from B E Ed. B E Ed Abby. Wrong. Wala po siya. B E Ed Christelle. Correct. B E Ed Jazz. Correct. B E Ed Georgie. Correct. B E Ed Rona. Correct. For the B P E. B P E Christina. Correct. BPE Julian wrong, BPE May correct, BPE Shala correct, BPE Sophia wrong. And for the BSc English, English Angeline correct, English Damase correct, English Leila correct, English Manuel wrong, English Marjorie correct. For the BSc Math, Math Almira wrong, Math Kenneth, I, again, Math Almira correct. Math Kenneth correct, Math Lovely wrong, Math Maribel wrong, Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our fifth question. Okay, nasa number five question po tayo for easy round. Meron pa po tayong natitirang five questions. Yeah, and marami pa kayong chance para humako. Sabagay, easy round pa lang naman ito. So, huwag mo na po tayong padong hapabahan. So, our fifth question is from professional education again. So, contrary to Freud's concept that the primary motivation of human behavior is sexual in nature, Erickson's is blank in nature. A. Physical B. Cultural D, biological, or D, social. Timer, start now. Okay. Time's up. Please raise your, your answers. So your answers, guys. Wait lang po para i-encode lang po ng ating mga scorers. Okay, the correct answer for fifth, our fifth question is letter D, social. Okay, let's see who got the correct answer from B, Ed. Uh, B, Ed, Abby, correct. B, Ed, Cristel, correct. B, Ed, Jad, correct. B, Ed, Georgie, wrong. B, Ed, Rona, correct. For the BPE, BPE Christina, wrong. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shala, wrong. 
VP Sophia, correct? For the BSc English, English Angeline, correct? English Damase, wrong? English Leila, correct? English Manuel, correct? English Marjorie, correct? For the BSc Math, Math Almira, correct? Math Kenneth, wrong? Math Lovely, wrong? Math Maribel, wrong? Math Maylene, wrong? Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our sixth question. And down to sixth question na po tayo. Ayan, hinga-hinga muna po kayo. Baka hindi na po kayo humihinga basta. Ayan, hinga-hinga po tayo ng kaunti. Okay, for our sixth question, this is from General Education. Anong tayutay ang tinutukoy sa pahayag? Durog ang katawang bumagsak sa semento si Miguel. A. Pagtutulad. B. Pagbibigay sa tauhan. C. Pagmamalabis. Or D. Pagwawangi. Timer. Start now. Okay, time's up. Please raise your answers. So your answer is po. The correct answer is letter C, pagmamalabi. Okay, let's see who got the correct answer. Nikisha, can you please um, announce the correct the answers of B and Thank you. B and yes, correct. B and Georgie, wrong. B and Abby, correct. B and Crystal. Correct. B. Edrona, wrong. Okay, for the BPE, B. Ed Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, correct. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, correct. For the BSc English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, correct. For the BSc Math, Math Almira, correct. Math Kenneth, wrong. Math Lovely, wrong. Math Maribel, correct. Math Mylene, correct. Ayan. Thank you, guys. Okay, remind lang po natin na bawal po tayong gumamit ng... Gadget. And bawal yung puta. Ayaw mo. Teka. Isa't kung hindi. So. Okay. Diyan. So. Yup. Pa. Okay. Okay lang po. Now. Okay, time's up. Please face your answers. Okay, the correct answer is letter letter B, Commonwealth. Okay, let's see who got it right. From B Ed, B Ed Abby, correct. 
B at Christelle, correct. B at Jazz, wrong. B at Georgie, correct. B at Rona, correct. For the BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, correct. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, wrong. For the BSC English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, correct. Math Kenneth, correct. Math Lovely, wrong. Math Maribel, correct. Math Mylene, correct. Okay, thank you, Scotter. Let's now proceed with our next question. So this is eight question na po, pang eight na po natin. Okay, this is from General Education again. What is a straight line angle equal to A, 180 degrees, B, 90 degrees, C, 360 degrees, or letter D, 45 degrees? Timer, start now. Yeah, for sure, tama dito yung mga BS na. Time's up. Please raise your answers. Is your answer po? Okay, the correct answer po is yan. So your answer po, wag muna po ibababa lang po. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, 180 degrees. Ayan. Okay, let's see who got the correct answers from our participants from B. Ed. B. Ed Abby, correct. B. Ed Christelle, correct. B. Ed Jazz, correct. B. Ed Georgie, correct. And B. Ed Rona, wrong. From BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE, Ma B BPE May, correct. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, correct. For the BSC English, English Angeline, correct. English Damas wrong. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, correct. Math Kenneth, correct. Math Lovely, correct. Math Maribel, correct. Math Mylene, correct. Okay, thank you, scholars. Again, ni redemind po natin. Um, no coaching, no use, um, no using of devices. Yeah. So, next question na po tayo. Last, but na, uh, uh, second to the last question, I think, easy round. Yeah. Okay, this is from General Education again. The question is, which of the following is not a mammal? A, dolphin, B, bat, C, whale, or D, penguin? Timer starts now. Okay, time's up. Please show your answer first. Okay, hintay lang po natin ma-record ng ating mga scorers ang inyong mga sagot para maiwasan po natin ang it. Okay. Okay. The correct answer is letter letter B, penguin. Ayan. Penguin po yung hindi mama. Okay. So, let's see who got the correct answer from B, Ed. B, Ed, Abby. Wrong. 
P at Christelle, wrong. P at Jad, wrong. B at Georgie, wrong. B at Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BPE Christina, wrong. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, wrong. BPE Sophia, correct. For the BSC English, English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, correct. Math Lovely, wrong. Math Maribel, correct. Math Mylene, correct. Ayan, thank you. So, last question na po tayo for easy round. Ayan, easy na po tayo. Tunod po natin ito. I break muna tayo bago mag-average lang. Okay. Next question po. Okay, our last question is from professional education. The question is, when a child says that the sun is sleeping at night, the child is in the pre-operational -oper stage, particularly A, animism, B, centration, C, egocentrism, or D, reversibility. Timer starts now. Yeah, time's up. Please raise your answers po. Record muna po natin ang inyong mga sagot before we reveal the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, animation. So, let's see who got it right from B. Ed. So, B. Ed, Abby, wrong. B. Ed, Christelle, wrong. B. Ed, Jad, wrong. B. Ed, Georgie, wrong. B. Ed, Rona, wrong. B. T. E. Christina, wrong. BPE Julian, wrong. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, wrong. BPE Sophia, wrong. Okay, so for English, English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, wait na po. Wrong. English Leila, wrong. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, correct. Math Lovely, wrong. Math Maribel, wrong. Math Mylene, correct. Okay, thank you, scorers. Ayan, we are now done with our easy round. So let's see how many points we've got for this round. Let's call in our online tabulator to see who's leading at yung uh, mga kailangan bumawi sa ating average round. Hintay lang po natin yung ating online tabulator para po sa ating scorers. So, after po nito, tayo ay mag-break. Short break po. So, yung gustong mag-PR at yung gustong mag-review pa para sa ating Let Me See. Yan. So, as of now, ang nangunguna po natin is from English, English Manuel, and English Laila. So, for meron po silang 8 points na. Ayan, congrats. Congrats na agad. And then, followed by, um, ilan po ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6 na 
participants natin got um, seven points, which is Math Mylene, BPE Julian, English Damase, B and Abby, Matt Almira, and Matt Kenneth. So followed by English Angeline Six, as well as BPE Chara, BPE May, B and Georgie, B and Christelle, and then the rest po ay five and four. Ang five po natin ay si Matt, Maribel, BPE Christina, B and Rona, and B and Jazz, and BPE Sophia. So, ang four points po natin, English, Marjorie, and Matt, lovely. Yan, yan po yung mga kailangan nating uh, kailangan bumawi sa ating average now. So, three points po yun. Yan, mag-break muna po tayo for a while. So, yan, yung, yung, sin, yung sino pong gusto mag-PR at mag-review pa. Okay, we will be back in a short while. So, ready na po ba tayo sa ating average round? So, yan. Okay, reminders lang po muna natin. Um, again po, no coaching po tayo. No using of devices. So, yan po. Yan. Let's read some comments muna din po sa ating um, YouTube. Yan. Sabi po ni um, Roy Angelo, Ay, ay, sabi po ni Angelica, go English. Yan, sabi ni Roy Angelo, go mas, go guys. Ayan. O, sinichir nila kayo dito. Okay. Yan. Start na po ba tayo? So, type I am ready sa ating chat box. So, ready na po kayo sa ating average. Ayan, nagsatype na sila. Okay, mukhang ready na po tayong lahat. Okay, let's go to our average round. Okay, our average round is 3 points each. We have 7 questions and you have 10 seconds to answer. Okay? For our question number one, 
let's proceed po with our question number one. Chimi, this is from professional education, by the way. So, Chimi knows that not all flying creatures are birds. What concept of the Jay's theory of cognitive development is shown? A. Adaptation B. Assimilation C. Accommodation or letter D. Association Timer starts now. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answer. Okay, raise your answer, you guys. Okay, let's reveal the correct answer. The correct answer is letter letter C, accommodation. Okay, let's see who got it right from our B Ed. So B Ed Abby, wrong. B Ed Crystal, wrong. B Ed Jazz, wrong. B Ed Georgie, wrong. And B Ed Rona, wrong. B P Christina, correct. BPE Julian, wrong. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, wrong. BPE Sophia, wrong. For BSE English, English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, wrong. English Leila, wrong. English Manuel, wrong. English Marjorie, wrong. For BSE Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, wrong. Math Lovely, wrong. Math Maribel wrong. Math Mylene wrong. Okay, mukhang masirap-sirap na po yung ating question na yan. Yung average round na po. Let's proceed with our next question. Okay, next question na po tayo. So, this is from general education of math. Our question is, what name is given to the art of repairing, stuffing, and mounting the skins of animals to make lifelike models? A. Taxonomy B. Taxon C. Taxidermy or D. Taxicology Timer starts now. Ano po kaya yan? Okay, time's up po. Please please your answers. Okay, the correct answer is Okay, you know muna kay guys. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. Taxidermy. Okay. Marami po niyan sa National Museum. Uh, natural history. Marami po ganun. Taxidermy animal. Okay. So, let's see who got the correct answer from B. Ed. B. Ed Abby. Correct. B. Ed Crystal. Correct. B. Ed Jazz. Correct. B. Ed Georgie. Correct. And B. Ed Drona. Wrong. For the BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, wrong. And BPE Sophia, correct. For BSC English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. Oh. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, correct. Math Kenneth correct, Math Lovely correct, Math Maribel wrong, Math Mylene correct. 
Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's proceed to our third question. Third question na po tayo ng ating average tag. Hello po. Uh, can we repeat po for Ate Marjorie? Sorry po. For me. Okay, repeat Continue. lang po to Marjorie. English Marjorie wrong. Okay. Let's proceed to our next question na po. So our next question is from general education. The question is, what was the first labor organization in the Philippines founded on February 2, 1902? A. Union Trabajo Filipina B. Union Labor de Filipinas C. Union Obrero Democratica Filipina or letter D. Union Servicio Civico. Timer, start now. Okay guys, 10 seconds po to answer. Yeah, time to po. Please show your answers guys. Hello guys, sorry for the interruption. Reminder lang po, again, bawal po ang may kausap or may other device, okay? Nakikita po kayo, okay? So please, again po, bawal po ang may kausap. Thank you! Okay, the correct answer is letter C. Okay, letter C, Union Obrero Democratica Filipina. So, let's see who got it right from B. Ed. Okay, B. Ed Abby, wrong. B. Ed Christel, wrong. B. Ed Jad, correct. B. Ed Georgie, wrong. B. Ed Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, correct. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, wrong. For the BSC English, English Angeline wrong, English Damase wrong, English Leila wrong, English Manuel correct, English Marjorie wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira wrong, Math Kenneth wrong, Math Lovely correct, Math Maribel wrong, Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Yan, let's proceed to our second to the last. I'm sorry, pang fourth pa lang pala. Fourth question for our average round. Hello, may question si Manuel. Okay. English Manuel, correct. Okay. English Manuel, correct daw po para sa ating online tabulator. Okay, let's proceed to our next question na po. Average down. This is our fourth question. Okay, our fourth question is from professional education. Okay, the question is, on which policy is RA 4617? known as the Magna Carta for Public School Teachers Focus. A. Rights of Public Teachers to Establish or Join Organizations. B. Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers. C. Recruitment shall take place after training. Or D. Promoting and improving the social and economic status of public teachers. Timer starts now. Ayan, may pabatas-batas na po tayo. Marami po yan sa Prof. Ed. Ayan, time's up po tayo. Please, so raise your answers na po. Okay. 
Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Okay, yun po ay promoting and improving the social and economic status of public teachers. Yeah. Let's see who got it right from our B. Ed. Okay, B. Ed. Abby, correct. B. Ed. Christel, wrong. B. Ed. Jad, correct. B. Ed. Jordi, correct. B. Ed. Rona, wrong. B. P. E. Christina, wrong. B. P. E. Julian, correct. B. P. E. May, wrong. B. P. E. Shara, correct. B. P. E. Sophia, wrong. For the BSE English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, wrong. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSE Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, wrong. Math Lovely, correct. Math Maribel, correct. Math Mylene, correct. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's proceed with... Okay, great. Please know that. Yes, po, Ate Laili. Hello, everyone. Uh, we would just like to warn you guys na pakiusap po, huwag po natin gagamitin na ating uh, mga sagot pang block sa ating face. Inuulit, huwag po natin gagamitin ang ating mga pang sagot, mga papel, cardboards pang block sa ating face. Dahil it can be used as the grounds for disqualification. Last warning. Thank you. Okay po. Yan, may warning na po tayo. Let's proceed to our fifth question. Discuss na po tayo. Guys, hinga-hinga muna po tayo. Lapit na po tayo sa ating Pero Pagka Karan Din na Po tayo First Five and ten Timer starts now. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answers. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, identifying the results desired. Okay, let's see who got it right from our B.Ed. Okay, B.Ed Abby, wrong. B.Ed Christelle, wrong. B.Ed Jazz, wrong. B.Ed Georgie, correct. B.Ed Rona, correct. For the BPE. BP Christina wrong, BP Julian correct, BP May wrong, BP Sarah wrong, BP Sophia correct. For the BSc English, English Angeline wrong, English Damase wrong, English Leila wrong, English Manuel correct, English Marjorie correct. For the BSc Math, Math Almira wrong, Math Kenneth wrong. Math Lovely wrong, Math Maribel wrong, Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our second to the last question for average round. General education. So the question is. Ano ang katumbas ng negosyo ni Apolinario Mabini na nagsasaad ng aral sa Filipino? A. Mosaic Law B. Code of Ethics ni Kalanchao C. 
New Society ni Pangulong Marcos, B. Code of Ethics, Code of Citizenship ni Pangulong Quezon. Timer, start now. Times up po, please face your answers. Again po, huwag po natin i-cover yung face po natin. For your answers, guys. Okay. The correct answer po is letter A. Mosaic Law. Okay, let's check po from B. Ed. B. Ed Abby, correct. B. Ed Christelle, wrong. B. Ed Jan, wrong. B. Ed Georgie, wrong. B. Ed Rona, wrong. B. P. Christina, wrong. B. P. E. Julian, correct. B. P. E. May, wrong. B. P. E. Shara, wrong. BP Sophia, correct. For the BSC English, English Angeline wrong, English Damase wrong, English Leila correct, English Manuel correct, English Marjorie wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira wrong, Math Kenneth wrong, Math Lovely wrong, Math Maribel wrong, and Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our last question for average round. Okay, last question po natin is from professional education. The question is, for which type of learning outcomes would the essay test be least helpful? A. Application of principles. B. Knowledge of facts. C. Organization of ideas. Or D. Understanding of principles. Timer starts now. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answers. Okay, the correct answer is letter, letter B. Okay, ang letter B po natin ay knowledge of facts. Okay, let's check from B. Ed po. B. Ed Abby, correct. B. Ed Cristel, wrong. B. Ed Jazz, wrong. B. Ed Georgie, wrong. B. Ed Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BP Christina, wrong. BP Julian, wrong. BP May, wrong. BP Shara, wrong. BP Sophia wrong. For the BSC English, English Angelina wrong. English Damase wrong. English Leila correct. English Manuel wrong. English Marjorie wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira wrong. Math Kenneth correct. Math Lovely correct. Math Maribel wrong. Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scores. Ayan, tapos na po tayo sa ating average round. Let's see again how many points we've got for this round. Okay, let's call in our online tabulator. Sino po kaya ang ating mga nungunguna sa ating um, score sheet? Magkakaroon po ulit tayo ng break bago po tayo mag-proceed sa ating difficult round. Again po, 
um, pupuha, pupuha po tayo ng top 7 na papasok sa ating final round and ang final round po natin ay mangyayari sa March 24. Okay, hintay lang po natin yung ating online tabulator. Okay. Hinga-hinga muna po tayo guys habang hinihintay. Okay. Ayan na po. So, ang nangunguna pa rin po natin ay si English Manuel with 23 points followed by BPE Julian 22 points and then D. Ed Abby 19 points English Layla, Layla 17 points Matt Lovely 16 points, Mia Georgie, 15 points, and meron po tayong tatlong magtatay para sa 14 points. We have B. Ed Jad, BPE Christina, and BPE Sophia. So, 13 points naman po, tatlo din, English Damase, Matt Kenneth, and Matt Mylene. For our 12 points po, po, so 12 points po natin, dalawa, we have English, Angeline, and BPE, Shara. So, 10 points, Matt, Almira. 9 points, we add Crystal. Then, 8 points po natin, dalawa, Matt, Maribel, and we add Rona. English, Marjorie, 7 points, and BPE, May, 6 points. Yes. Don't worry po, ang ating difficult round po ay 5 points each po. So, kung ma-perfect niyo po yun, malaki po yung chance na maka makapas na po sa ating um, top 7. Okay, we will have a short break po muna before we proceed to our difficult round. So, we will back in a moment. Ayan, nakapag-refresh, refresh na po ba? Okay, pwede na po ba tayo mag-proceed sa ating difficult round? Nakabalik na po ba ang lahat? Okay. Proceed na po tayo sa ating difficult round. Type I am ready to elect. Kung ready na po kayong sumagot sa ating um, difficult round. Yeah. Final round na po natin for elimination. Okay, mukhang ready na po ang lahat. Let's proceed to our first question for difficult round. So, difficult round is 5 points each. We have 15 seconds to answer it. So, 5 questions lang po tayo. Okay, for our first question, this is from Professional Education. What do learners make use of when they visually examine words to discover component parts like impossible, which is made up of im plus possible, which lead to pronunciation and meaning. A. Structural analysis. B. Syntactic clues. C. Context clues. Or D. Presentation clues. Timer starts now. Again, you have 15 seconds to answer po. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answers. Okay. 
Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Structural analysis. Okay, wag muna po natin ibababa ang ating mga placards. Okay, let's see who got it right from our B. Ed. B. Ed Abby, wrong. B. Ed Christelle, wrong. B. Ed Jazz, correct. B. Ed Georgie, correct. B. Ed Rona, correct. For the BPE, BPE Christina, wrong. BPE Julian, wrong. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, correct. For the BSC English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, correct. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, correct. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, correct. Math Kenneth, correct. Math Lovely, correct. Math Maribel, wrong. Math Mylene, wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's now proceed to our second question for our difficult round. Again. Okay, the question is Okay, the question is According to Batas Pambansa Bilang 232 Students and pupils in all schools Shall enjoy the following rights Except A. The right to organize By themselves and or with teachers For the purpose of of providing a forum for the discussion of matters relating to the total school program. B, the rights to be free from involuntary contribution except those approved by their own organizations or society. C, the right to access to his own school records, the confidentiality of which the school shall maintain and preserve. For letter D, the right of school guidance and counseling services for making decisions and selecting the alternatives in fields of work suited to his potential. Timer starts now. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answers. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Okay, yun po ay the rights to organize by themselves and or with teachers for the purpose of providing a forum for the discussion of matters relating to the total school program. Okay, let's check po. From B.E.D., B.E.D. Abby, wrong. B.E.D. Christelle, correct. B.E.D. Jazz, wrong. B.E.D. Georgie, correct. B.E.D. Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BP Christina wrong, BP Julian wrong, BP May wrong, BP Shara wrong, BP Sophia wrong. For BSE English, English Angeline wrong, English Damase wrong, English Leila correct, English Manuel wrong, English Marjorie correct. For the BSE Math, Math Almira wrong, Math Kenneth wrong, Math Lovely wrong. Math, Maribel, wrong. Math, Mylene, correct. Okay, thank you, scholars. Let's go to our third question. Third question of style. Okay, our third question po is from General Education.
Okay, the question po is, which of the following matter phase transitions are energy releasing? A, condensation and freezing. B, evaporation and condensation. C, sublimation and deposition. Or letter D, melting and evaporation. Timer starts now. Okay, time's up po. Please raise your answers. Yan, wait lang po. Please raise your answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, the correct answer po is letter A, condensation and freezing. Okay, let's check from B. Ed. B. Ed Abby, wrong. B. Ed Christelle, wrong. B. Ed Jad, wrong. B. Ed Georgie, wrong. B. Ed Rona, wrong. Okay, for the BPE, BPE Christina, correct. BPE Julian, wrong. BPE May, wrong. BPE Shara, wrong. And BPE Sophia, correct. For BSE English, English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, wrong. English Leila, wrong. English Manuel, correct. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSE Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, wrong. Math Lovely, correct. Math Maribel, wrong. Math Maylin, wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Mukhang mahirap nga yung questions na yun. Marami ang wrong sa akin. Okay, let's proceed to our second to the last question for our difficult round. Ayan. Malalaman na po natin kung sino ang ating pasok sa ating top 7. Okay, two questions left na lang po tayo. So, our fourth question is from professional education. When a teacher tries to elicit, elicit clarification on a student's response to solicit additional information, which of these should be used? A. Probing B. Directing E, cross-examining, or D, structuring. Timer, start now. Okay, time's up po. Please show your answers. Okay, the correct answer is third A, probing. Okay, let's see who got the correct answer from B, Ed. So, B, Ed, Abby, correct. B, Ed, Christelle, wrong. B, Ed, Jag, wrong. B, Ed, Georgie, correct. B, Ed, Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BPE, Christina, wrong. BPE, Julian, wrong. BPE, May, wrong. BPE Shara, correct. BPE Sophia, wrong. For BSE English, English Angeline, correct. English Damase, wrong. English Leila, correct. English Manuel, wrong. English Marjorie, correct. I wrong. Sorry, wrong. For the BSE Math, Math Almira, wrong. 
math Kenneth wrong, math Lovely correct, math Maribel wrong, math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. Ayan, last question na po tayo for difficult round. Okay, let's proceed. So, our last question is from professional education. The question is, okay, the question is, Mr. Malaya is teaching a third year high school class in world history. The student need note-taking, outlining, and study skills. Which strategy should he start to model, teach, and have students practice first? A, main idea, B, sequencing, C, reciprocal teaching, or B, rhetorical patterns of expository text. Timer, start now. Okay, time's up. Please raise your answers. Okay, the correct answer is... The correct answer is letter A. I'm sorry, the correct answer is letter B. B, again, the correct answer is letter B, sequencing. Okay, let's see who got the correct answer. From B, Ed Po, B, Ed Abby, wrong. B, Ed Christel, correct. B, Ed Jazz, wrong. B, Ed Georgie, wrong. B, Ed Rona, wrong. For the BPE, BP Christina, wrong. BP Julian, correct. BP May, correct. BP Ishala, correct. BP Sophia, wrong. For BS BSC English, English Angeline, wrong. English Damase, wrong. English Leila, wrong. English Manuel, wrong. English Marjorie, wrong. For the BSC Math, Math Almira, wrong. Math Kenneth, wrong. Math Lovely wrong, Math Maribel wrong, Math Mylene wrong. Okay, thank you, scholars. So for now, hindi mo na po natin i-reveal ang ating um, final for seat. So magkakaroon muna po tayo ng short break para, um, yun, short break muna po tayo <laughs> Para makahingay nga naman po kayo. Then, mamaya po i-announce natin kung sino po yung mga nakapasok sa ating top 7. Yeah. We will be back in a moment. <music> 